So the key idea behind caviar initialization is to keep the variance of the activations and the gradients consistent across layers. The way it is done, it is by setting the initial weights based on the number of input and the output neurons in a neural network. So the way it works is that it looks into the n in, which is simply the number of uh, neurons uh, as the inputs that go into that layer and the n output, which is the number of neurons or the output as part of that layer, because in each layer we have neurons that comes in and the neurons that come out. And this n in that comes in and n out that describes the number of neurons that go out is being used in order to define the distribution of these weights. So, so one way that the Javier initialization tries to stabilize the network and keep the gradients as well as the activations consistent and stable is by using a certain statistical distributions uh, with certain qualities that will ensure that the variance of the weights is constant. So we want to come up with a distribution from which we will sample our initial weights using the n in, which is the number of neurons that go into that layer, and n out, which is the number of neurons that go out of that layer, using that combined with the statistical distribution. So one way of doing that is by using the uniform distribution. If you are familiar with the statistical distribution function, uh, the, uh, the way uniform distribution works is that it always has these two parameters. It has a lower bound A and the upper bound B, and the distribution always lies within this specific area. It's like a, a rectangular area, uh, and the corresponding values, so the upper bound is uh, the probability is 1 divided B minus A. So the probability for all the values that lie in within that range is constant. It's equal to 1 divided B minus A. Now, why this is important in our case, it is because if we use certain A and B, in this case, you can see when using square root of 6 divided to square root of n in plus n out as a lower bound, and its positive version, so square root of 6 divided to a square root of n in plus n out, then the variance corresponding to this random variable that follows uniform distribution with this lower bound A and lower bound the upper bound B will be then equal to 2 divided to square root of n in plus n out. So the variance of this random distribution will be this amount. And this means that every time we have this weight, this weight will then be constant. So the variation of it will be constant. And what does it mean if the weight has a constant variance? It means that it will always change in a similar amount of, with similar amount. So it will not change too much with too high gradients, so exploding gradients. It will also not change too low. So the gradients will not be too small. So we will also combat the vanishing gradient problem. And that's why caviar initialization can be so important and so significant because it can help to stabilize the entire network. It can bring consistency into the variance of these activations and the gradients across different layers. And it will also reduce this risk of vanishing and exploding gradients, which will promote stability. And it will also improve the efficiency of your training process. And this uh, process is particularly relevant for the sigmoid activation function and the tang activation function.